Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you a game between Zhang Zhao Wen and Ting Ji Lei. This is the game from a Chinese Women's Chess Championship 2016. Zhang Zhao Wen had white pieces and she started with e4. Ting Ji Lei played e5. Knight to f3. Knight to f6. Petro defense. Two Chinese ladies playing Russian game. Knight takes on e5, d6, knight to f3, knight takes pawn on e4, why to move? d4 is the most played move. Zhang Zhao Wen played knight to c3, knight takes knight, d takes on c3, bishop to e7, bishop to e3, Knight to d7, the knight is coming to f6 to defend h7. Queen to d2, intending to castle queenside. Ting Ji Lei castled kingside and Zheng Zhao Wen castled queenside. c6, why to move? What would you do? I guess developing the bishop comes to mind. Maybe king to b1? Zheng Zhao Wen played h4, very interesting move. You might like the move after this game. Knight to f6, bishop to d3, d5, and now knight to g5, provoking black to push the pawn. Hmm? b5, bishop to d4 threatening a bishop takes knight. So there is no time for c5 because then bishop takes on f6, pawn takes bishop, knight takes on h7 attacking the rook. If rook goes to e8, queen to h6 and there is a writing on the wall for black king. So Ting Ji Lei played h6 attacking the knight. What is the best square for the knight? Huh? What would you do? Knight to f3? Perhaps knight to h3 is not a bad square. Do you agree? There was a big surprise. The knight didn't move. g4 was played. What a move! What a move! Well, black can capture the pawn on g4. Definitely with knight or with the bishop. But Ting Ji Lei could not resist the temptation. She captured the knight on g5 with pawn. Pawn takes pawn on g5. Knight to e4 attacking the queen. What now? This is a very interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Zheng Zhao Wen played an incredible move. Absolutely incredible. F4. What a move, sacrificing a queen. First move, do you agree that first move that comes to mind is bishop takes knight? Well, a bishop takes knight was surely considered. Let's see what happens then. If bishop takes knight, then d takes on e4. That is bishop takes on g5. So f4, e takes on f3 and passan. Queen to h2. This is one very interesting line. Bishop takes on g5 check, king to b1, bishop to h6, bishop to e3, attacking the queen, rook is attacking the queen, queen takes rook, rook takes queen, bishop takes bishop, rook to h1, f6. Black is better. Let's go back to our game. We have this incredible f4 move, sacrificing the queen. This is the most interesting moment of the game. 
play with black pieces. Ten delay. Had her heart pumping very hard. She can win the queen. But then she realized that the game will end up in a draw. She decided she wanted a full point. Because player with black pieces is much higher rated than player with white pieces. Hmm? The future said, better a pigeon in a hand than sparrow in a bush. Anyway, I asked my friend to check with software if knight takes queen would really lead to a draw. He said he checked it with Houdini, Fritz and Vegeta and they all say that this would be a draw. Let's have a look. Knight takes on d2, bishop to h7 check, king to h8, bishop to f5, king to g8, bishop to h7. Position would be repeated three times and there would be a draw. Higher rated player, player with black pieces, decided to go for a win. She captured the pawn on g4 with bishop attacking the rook. Why to move? What would you do now? Hmm? Zeng Zhao Wen captured the knight. Queen to h2 is also a good move. But bishop takes on e4. Perfectly good move. Black to move. If d takes on e4, then queen to h2 is very unpleasant. So we have f5. How would you continue in this position if you had white pieces? Zeng Zhao Wen captured the pawn on Passan. Bishop takes on f6. If pawn takes on e4, f takes on e7. Again winning for white. So we have bishop takes on f6, bishop to g6 preventing the escape of black king. Bishop takes on d1, queen takes bishop, rook to e8 making the room for black king to escape to safety. Very safety on b8. How would you prevent black king from escaping? Huh? Zeng Zhao Wen found a very forceful way to stop black king from escaping. She sacrificed the rook on h8. What a move. King takes rook. Queen to h5 check. King to g8. White to move. White played the move when black resigned. The move is queen to h7. Black resigned. If king goes to f8, then how would you continue then? Hmm? Then bishop to c5 check. After rook to e7, queen to h8, checkmate. What a spectacular game. What did you learn from this game? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.